based on Model TV, a golden anniversary exhibit of fashion figures. Uh, my name is Boyd Holbrook, yeah, from Eastern Kentucky. I was working at a theater in Kentucky and um, some girl came by who used to model and I was actually saving up money to come here to uh, do filmmaking. So she asked me if I wanted to go to New York and I said, well, yeah, of course, so it's not so bad so far. I live in Queens now. Kentucky's gorgeous, so if you go or anybody out there should go to Kentucky. I think editorial shoots are pretty cool when you have someone who's got um, a really artistic view and they get that across. I think with the show it's more like a um, like a presentation, but with a photo shoot it can be more artistic and uh, have a better view. Well, at first, uh, my dad really didn't like it so much. I, mean, I, I wouldn't say my dad really didn't like it, he was just didn't know what was going on, you know? So, um, but now it's fun because they see that, you know, I'm doing what I want to do um, in, my, in my regular life, so. Well, actually, um, I'm a filmmaker and a steel sculptor, so I, that's, what I'm, that's what I do. And this is just um, a job, so I guess um, any artist, you gotta have a job, and this happens to be my job to supply my income until it picks up. I reckon it's more for the girls, but um, I, I'm a guy, so I just, I just, I'm here. It's more for the ladies. It's not really my my show. Adele Roots Teen Mannequins recently celebrated its 50th anniversary with a party and exhibition featuring the company's archives of lifelike figures. Adele's vision when she started was, you know, in the, in the early 60s, fashion was going on, there was a youth generation, and the mannequins looked like your mother. So she decided to choose the people that were selling fashion in the magazines and, to, and made them into mannequins. The model poses for two hours a day for about three weeks. And it's done in clay on an armature. From that, it's then a mold is made and you get a plaster original. And from the plant original, we can make a production mold, which then creates the fiberglass mannequins. They then hand finished, hand painted, the wigs are made. From Twiggy, the face of 60s youth quake, to Joan Collins and Diane Brill of the extravagant 80s. On up to the Wayfish 90s figures like Erin O'Connor, the exhibit highlighted the faces and bodies of the last 50 years of fashion. They always say that if you live long enough, whatever you look like will come into fashion. And it's funny how there's waves where things were at one time you more voluptuous than like you look at Twiggy, she was 15 and a really skinny little girl. To commemorate their golden anniversary, Rootsteen reissued their Back Cleveland mannequin cast in the 70s and created two new ones immortalizing her model children, Anna and Noel. They build your body up on a skeleton, first of all, and then they keep adding clay and adding clay and look adding at you, clay. And then the sculpture, and then look at you and then, you know, put a it's little bit. Very minute detail work. Yeah. It's kind of like out of a movie, you know? It feels like one of those Pygmalion things, you know, where you, you step down and you become real, you know, and the sculptor sculpts you and you're having all these fantasies and you think, oh my God, is that me? And you just watch someone create something out of a piece of clay and you want to live up to the image of your own mannequin and it's a little bit strange. And it's a mannequin at this point, but essentially it's a true sculpture. Yeah, you it's know. It's an artistic work. So how, how I think it's a big, big, big it's honor. A big step and it's a big honor. My name is Sanya Rubik and I'm with Next. 21 year old Anya Rubik's success in the modeling world proves that mother always knows best. My mom actually she sent pictures to a competition in Poland to a magazine 
Um, she didn't tell me because she didn't want me to be disappointed if it, if it wouldn't work. And then um, the competition was organized by my mother agency in Poland. And that's how it all started. And then they asked me to come to Paris. Then I went back home because I was still at school, so I didn't make my decision if I wanted to model. So I finished school and then I decided to move to New York and start modeling full time. It's different. You know, when you see modeling outside this world, it seems so much more fun, easier, more glamorous than it really is. It's really a lot of hard work, a lot of patience and getting up really early, working in cold places, hot places, I'm getting along with so many people, it's much more complicated than you think it is. So it's, it's a lot, you have to get along with all the people, you have to move well and feel comfortable in front of the camera. It's, it's less glamorous in real life than it looks outside, it's beautiful. We come out, we look great, we have the hair is done, the makeup's done, we wear the best clothes ever. We're you know, smiling and happy, but really it's pretty hard. You get to travel a lot, you get to meet really interesting people. You get to actually wear these wonderful clothes, beautiful clothes. And um, it's just, it gives you when, you, when you take pictures in the magazines after you have this kind of, you look at it and you're happy with them. Because you work with photographers, which are amazing people, so. Um, you get to know some of the glamour, you get to go out and meet interesting and famous people as well. Famous people, I mean Lenny Kravitz, now I just remember like all the top models like um, Naomi Campbell, Anna Galista, the Hartigova. And um, so oh, I got to meet a lot of people, and I remember a baby fat in New York. There are so many stars backstage. Oh, and Gwen Stefani, and there are a lot of people backstage as well, like um, actors and singers. Basically, I, I made up my mind, but this is what I want to do. Five years ago, quite a long time now. 